What's up everybody, my name's Trey and welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm actually be having a conversation with my boy Andrew at Limitless Profits. If you don't know, I paid $10,000 dollars for their done for your service in which they created drop shipping business for you using Facebook so we'll basically be going over my results if I think it's worth it and what kind of the long-term play for drop shipping specifically on Facebook looks like but if you are somebody that's new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time I post a video and with that being said let's get into the interview baby Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just wanted to reintroduce my boy, Andrew, with Limitless Profit. So excited to have you back on the channel, my guy. Uh, a lot of people have been asking to see your beautiful face. So I'm glad to have you back on here. Um, kind of walk you through the process of, you know, my store. It is still very new, but we have some really, really important information to share about it because we just got our first sale yesterday. Super excited. Now, I'm not a millionaire, obviously. Really didn't make too terribly much money, but finally got our first sale, so we're moving in the right direction. So for anybody that doesn't know Andrew, he basically partnered up with Limitless Profits, which is a Facebook marketplace and shop dropshipping agency, and they are getting some amazing results for their clients. But I'm going to let you, Andrew, if you could, just introduce yourself to anybody that's seen to the channel, and we'll kind of get into my store, talk about little changes that he's been making to his agency itself. But Andrew, thanks so much for jumping on the call, my guy. Yeah, of course, man. Of course. Uh, I always appreciate jumping on the call. Your energy is unmatchable, bro. Unmatchable. Like it's just great. Uh, it's awesome. But um, no, bro, I appreciate it. And for anybody who's new, maybe this is the first time you're jumping on Trey's channel and you're seeing me or whatever, just to give you a 30,000 foot overview of who I am and what I do within the Limitless Profits and Facebook Automation Service. Um, so I, I've been in the e-commerce space since 2018. So going on a little over four years now. Um, and I am pretty much the operations manager. So I'm the COO and the CMO of the company. I do do all the marketing. I handle all the affiliate relationships. I build more relationships to better the company. And then I also built the entire infrastructure really from the bottom up um, to from the zero to seven figure level. Uh, and, and we're constantly growing and changing and, and, you know, adapting the internals to allow for you to see the externals, right? For you, for me to be able to post 12 testimonials in a month, like that are going to come out in May, you know, I, I, there's a certain level of internals that's got to go down in order for that to happen. And that's really what I'm in charge of. Right. So, Nonetheless, we did we did like link up with Trey and, uh, you know, he obviously is, as you guys have seen from previous videos, you know, uh, he did get a store with us and uh, we really just started really getting it going in this month of April, like beginning of April. I was actually looking in his chat um, and, you know, we were sending reports of like products we were listing and things like that starting at like the 30th of March to be completely transparent with you. Um, so it really didn't start until like April, right? Yes. Two days at the end of March, we were running his, his uh, like when I say running, I mean, listing products on his store and things like that. But um, yeah, it's really April is going to be his first full month with us, which is going to be, it's going to be great to see what happens. And, and also Trey, if I'm going to be honest with you, man, like it really goes to show like not every shop is going to pop off immediately. Cause we have some shops on my testimonials that, you know, we had a client his first full month, he did $9,200 in profit before the split. We had another client who did like over four grand their first month before the split. And so like, it just goes to show. And we have other clients that I also showcase on my channel that are, that are like how trays are right now, where it's a slow, it's a slow burner. My shop personally as well is a slow burner. Like it doesn't run up fast. So this is a great opportunity for us to just be very transparent with you guys and just really show you, listen, not every shop's going to scale completely fast. It's not a get rich quick thing. It's none of that. So I'm, I'm really excited to jump into your shop, man. And then let you ask me really anything regarding the business and in, in, in general. So I know a few people have reached out to me and a question that I don't necessarily know the answer to, but you might. So with what you're running right now is just my shop. So we didn't have really any opportunity to run the marketplace because as soon as you got on my marketplace, the shop got enabled. Now, do you think the, one of the reasons why it might be a little slower is because the marketplace wasn't built up yet or possibly just because, you know, it's just a shop and every shop performs differently? Uh, second option, um, marketplace has no indication or correlation with your shop doing well. Um, so I wouldn't say anything, it has anything to do because we had, a, we have clients, um, where we didn't even really build up their marketplace at all. We had like ran it for a month and a half and their months were 4,000 plus in their first month of the shop. So it really just comes down to every shop is different. Um, that's, that's really what I would answer that question as. 
And then do you see that you have to have that marketplace enabled to actually get sales? Are you able to still get sales without that marketplace enabled on a shop or is it just much, much more difficult? So I, again, I, I'm never going to pull any answers out of my ass. Uh, I'm going to just be completely transparent and say that we never listed on a shop prior to it being marketplace enabled. So um, if somebody else is watching this, wants to test or, you know, has shops that don't have enabled marketplaces, but they still want to list. I mean, you could, uh, I just don't know if it would show up on the mark on the shop tab um, or anything like that on the Facebook side of things. So um, yeah, I, I can't sit here and bullshit you there. I, we haven't done that. We haven't listed it. So when we take a look into the analytics, if you don't mind, Andrew, so what are we kind of looking yeah. at when it comes to views? Like I said, we just got our first order. I am super excited about that. But, you know, kind of what does it look like in terms of a more professional view in terms of like what you see when you look at it compared to what I see when I look at it? Yeah. And I'm going to share my, if you can give me access to share screen while I explain something here is, is. Okay. So yeah, pull, pulling up the, um, pulling up the insights and things like that. Like what I really like want to look at, as you can see here too, just so I hover over here yet, yeah, like March 30th was when we started getting some page views. Cause we started listing. Um, I would say like, as you start listing extremely consistently, these are going to tend to go up. Um, but, but Facebook, this is one thing that's very unique about Facebook is it's very in, consistent when it comes to the traffic, um, which is why every shop is different. Some shops, like as you're going to see here, um, have the same results. Like they have the same frequency, like they don't grow. And you can tell in the sales, like it just doesn't grow as fast. Uh, and so when I look at this, I, it's just typical Facebook here. Um, you know, it, it's, 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 uh, it's weird to explain why, like, for instance, why, why does it go up and down like this? What, what is the, what is the purpose, right? Why does this happen? And to be honest, if you're familiar with Facebook and you run Facebook, whether they're marketplaces or shops, you'll understand, especially on the marketplace side, you'll understand that like not every month is the same, right? Some months you may do less than before. Some months, you know, you could be stagnant and do the same, which we're going to show some results. And, and, you know, this is the purpose of it. This is, this is the uh, correlation as to why it's because the views are very inconsistent. And I would be bullshitting you if I was telling you that I knew why views are so inconsistent, right? We're doing everything as we normally do for every single shop, as far as the strategies go on how we list products, how we source products, how we pick images to put, to put as the main image for the product. Like everything as far as strategic wise and the process stays the same across all shops. So for me to sit here and, and try to bullshit you and tell you, yeah, well, you know, Trey's not getting as many views because of X, Y, and Z. It would really just be easily to uh, break down that I'm bullshitting you. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say, this is Facebook. This is some typical stuff that Facebook does, um, but it's only been less than 30 days. It's like literally been less than 15 days. So, um, you know, this will obviously these numbers, these numbers here will obviously go up as more products go up. And, and, you know, just to be transparent, there's less than 70 products on his shop right now. So like, there's not a lot of opportunity there, um, you know, for, for, for views to go up like that. So I, I would just say that at the end of the day, this, this is very typical. Don't think you're doing anything wrong. Just stay consistent, understand that this is a process and Facebook is very inconsistent. I, I, there's a lot of people who also say the same thing I am where, Facebook is very inconsistent in the views, the, 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 the potential of the platform. Um, and so, yeah, that, that's what I would say regarding these, these statistics right now. And it's super early. One the only thing I'll mention is, is it's super early to be able to judge or gauge anything just because it's been less than 15 days. Um, but just to be able to show you guys, uh, you guys watching that, like, Hey, listen, you know, um, you know, 15 days in, yes, he, he's, he is at least starting to get some traffic. He's got, he's starting to get sales. He's getting visitors, right? The, the visitors correlate directly, as you can see with the page views. Um, and that makes sense. Obviously on the days like April 1st, where, you know, there's only there like, five page views. There's five, there's five visitors. This just continues to correlate here. Um, and so, yeah, at the end of the day, it doesn't make, it makes sense that his first sale was on yesterday on the 13th because he had 50 something people come across 40 some people actually click on products and become a visitor. So that makes a lot of sense as, as to why, you know, his, his sale picked up and, and as things go along and we start listing more products, you should be seeing more sales. Exactly. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I also would love to go through here and show you guys some other shops that are slow growers. Um, we're obviously going to blur out the names at the top here, but you know, this is a shop that we started in February and they started like 
making sales halfway through the month. Uh, we probably started listing on their store early February, right? But they only did 982 their their first half month with us. Um, you know, and then in March, they doubled it. They did around 1800 in profit. And then in April right now, as we're recording this video halfway through the month, they're at 565. So, you know, again, this just goes to show how shops are. They're not different than the marketplace in the sense of they trump the fact that the inconsistency and the frequency of sales is, you know, not, not mirroring what happens on a marketplace. It does mirror what happens on a marketplace. It's all, it's all held on the same platform. So, you know, just understand that. And, and also I have a lot of, Jason and I have a lot of very good relations with people and relationships with people that, that uh, I've helped build inside of our network that also are very, very, very in the, the space of Facebook. And they have a plethora of shops. They have a plethora of uh, marketplaces and marketplace and shops views, especially shops views this month are down. Like they're definitely down. Um, you know, just being very transparent with you, you might be able to see that in some of the other, um, you know, month of April shops results here that we got halfway through the month, but you know, I'm in a group chat with, you know, a decent amount of other sellers that are in shops and, and, and yeah, we're noticing shops views, sales, conversions are just down overall, uh, in the month of April. And, and this is just, this happens, this happens from time to time. It's almost like in quarter four for Facebook, the same thing happens. Um, it's weird to think that you would think that quarter view sales are up on Facebook, but they're not because people are actually going to Amazon and Walmart to go shop rather than Facebook. So, um, another client we have here, um, we started his shop in January. Now he pretty much had the fur the full month, uh, going here. And, um, he did 2,154 his first full month. February, he grew a little bit more, uh, grew around 400 bucks. And then now he's grown a couple hundred more bucks. This is halfway through, uh, on this is actually March. And then, um, if I move my phone here and then we come into April. Um, so he's consistently growing. Right. And, and again, there's just no reason why, as you can see, there's a lot of orders here that come in that, you know, whether it's minimum quantity reach, we've had to refund, there's negative profits. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, he's still, going to surpass if we double this right here he's at 3400 bucks which is going to surpass exactly what happened in march um so you know he's growing very well but he's also someone who started low and and yes um you know we have clients that are doing way higher numbers than this so 2000 is pretty normal for us a thousand to 2000 is very normal um just another client here uh that is solely on a shop like we don't even have his we don't have a marketplace this is the reason why you're not seeing a different tab for shops is because we're just, he came in with a shop. So we're just running his shop. Right. Um, and so you can see here, February, we started in March is when we started like listing products. Um, and he's at first month, uh, first half month, he did $1,500 in profit pre-split. And then now he's obviously, you know, looking to double that, if not match it on, um, in April. And again, this is a great indication and a great example of transparency where it just shows, listen, at the end of the day, like, Shops tend to grow very healthy. Yes, uh, we do have those select handful few of shops on one hand I can count that are at this level where they may do a little bit more, which is still growth, but it's not like, you know, 20% from last month up, you know what I mean? Like, you know, but, but, um, you know, this is just, I, again, we can't, I can't sit here and explain, like I work at Facebook, why this happens. It just is what it is. Um, and you, and people understand this coming into the business and coming into the investment. So, um, this is my shop actually. So this is a shop that I run or I don't run. I have, I have a team run it as well. But, uh, if you look here, February, um, first month here, starting in the sixth, I only did $532, right? Like just, it is what it is. Um, coming here to March, I did $1,400 and now in April I'm at three grand and you know, it's just, now it's really growing. You know what I mean? So every shop is different. It just takes time. I, I believe this is uh, another client here. Yeah. Uh, before I get into that, I just, yeah, uh, just to reiterate again, you're going to hear me say the same things very, very heavily and frequently. It's just that everything takes time. Every shop, as you can see, every shop is different. I mean, I can also pull up shops where you'll see their first month, nine grand, four grand, five grand, like 2.6 and then to 3.4 and then to 4.5. Like I can pull those up, but the, the real indicator, and you can see those on my, on my channel, but uh, so I'm not going to waste your time there, but I really want to show you guys here, like, you know, a shop started halfway through the month, right? And this client set, started getting sales on the 17th, didn't see sales until the next to the 27th of, of January, only did $467, right? And you come to February, now he's at 1,971, first full month on the, on the shop. And now you come to March and he's at $4,563 in profit. And now you come to April and he's at 3,913. So 
it just takes time. Um, that's really all I could say. Anything else, I'm just repeating myself uh, extensively, you know, which I don't want to, you know, bore your, bore your viewers with it. But uh, yeah, it's so it's not abnormal for your shop to start off this way. I'm very excited to see where it's at. What really matters is this, right? Especially from an investor standpoint, and I think Trey would agree and attest to this. What really matters is that there's growth every month right? Because as an investor, you're coming in and thinking long-term, right? This isn't, obviously you're aware that this is uh, you being Trey and, and everybody else watching uh, that invests into passive streams of income. Um, this is not going to be something that starts making you money instantly. This is a long-term game plan, which is why you're investing the money over it. Obviously there's no risk to Trey because he has a money back guarantee, but that doesn't mean he wants to float 10 racks for like 12 months. Um, so in my opinion, as long, and, and what Jason and I really strive for, yes, we have goals we want to hit. Yes, we have standards we want to meet. Um, but at the end of the day, as long as the client is seeing consistent growth every single month on their shop or marketplace, that is very important to us. That's what really matters. Obviously, there are those months where I think we had a client last month that dropped a thousand dollars in profit from uh, from February to March, which happens. It happens, but they're still also making over a thousand dollars passively every month, which which is so. It's not like they went from making fifteen hundred before the split to five hundred now, and they're only taking home two fifty. Um, so as long as there's that consistent growth. It's really what matters for me and Jason and what we want to see. Yeah. And I know a lot of people I've been asking because they hear you talk about Jason. They know Jason is kind of the back end, kind of, you know, the analytical looks at the stories. Everybody wants to see this man on the channel. They think this man is <laughs> so if we could ever get him on, we would really appreciate that. But I yeah. would say one thing that I'm super excited about, like, yes, the store has just got its first sale, you know, first half of the month, we didn't really do anything on the store in terms of profit. I was more interested in, I'm happy about the communication that, you know, we had in the chat, you know, knowing that at least work is being done on the store that I just wouldn't be pushed to the back burner. And I think a lot of people need to understand that coming on with somebody who has paid multiple people to run Shopify stores and mentor on different projects when it comes to running Facebook ads. It seems like the communication that you and your team have with clients is, you know, top tier compared to a lot of other programs and people that I work awesome. with. So I really wanted to say, I really appreciate that and the transparency. Because as you see, that's why I started this on my YouTube channel. So people can actually see what are some real results that they can expect. And that same type of honesty and transparency is communicated in the group chat, which I really do appreciate. Yeah, I'm, I'm super grateful you brought that up, Trey. Because at the end of the day, bro, uh, you came in when we had over 70 clients, right? And a lot of people always will. We have a lot of people that I get on discovery calls with. And they're like, I love that you guys are so small. But but, you know, small to me is anything under 20 clients, you know, 70 wow. clients plus is a decent chunk of people that we're responsible for. And um, it just goes to show that the systems and processes and the and 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 the the infrastructure that we put in place um, really shows and and what's the word I'm looking for? Like, it, it really just goes to show that like, okay, cool. Like you, you are happy with the communication. You are happy with what's going on inside of there, even though your store is just starting you are getting communicated with on a consistent level and questions you're getting, you're having, they get answered relatively quickly. Um, you know, at the end of the day, the onboarding, I, which is something I want to touch base with you on as well, how that went, but I'm looking here and like, yeah, you're, you know, you're getting responses here within, you know, anywhere from eight to 12 hours as the team is obviously logged in uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, and so with that being said, you know, I'm grateful you brought up communication and I want to just ask real quick, like, what was the onboarding process like for you? How simple was it? Obviously you had a shop and, you know, it was a little easier, but just still like, you know, you went through the funnel that we have for the onboarding, you know, you went through that. How, how, how was that? And how did you, what, what any critiques or feedback you have or anything you just so, want to state about it? For me, it was a little bit different. I already had like the majority of everything set up um, and kind of ready to go, but I did go through it and I was trying to put any opinions or like previous experience out. And I was like, all right, if I was brand new, I didn't have anything set up. Let me go through this training and make sure it's set up correctly. And I thought it was seamless. It probably takes a person that doesn't have any of that stuff set up. If you're bad with technology, at most, it should probably take you an hour or two, like if that. Um, yeah. Any more than that, then you might you might want to just ask somebody to help you because it's really not that difficult. But yeah, yeah, I had no problem with the onboarding. Um, it was pretty seamless. Um, I really liked that Jason actually walked it through step by step instead of just giving you like a PDF or a Word doc. Like you could actually follow along with the information that he had on the screen. So I thought it was super easy. 
Awesome. Awesome. And then, and then, you know, uh, shout out to Larnie, you know, Larnie's is probably someone who is helping you out a decent amount in the chat as well. Um, she's also the, our onboarding and our hiring manager. So she takes care of, she's the one who brought you into the chat and, you know, did all that good stuff. Um, and, and so a lot of questions people have in the discovery calls and things is like, well, like, you know, when I get brought on, is it just like, you know, you, you know, no welcome, no, no communication, you know what I mean? Which you pretty much touched on, which is just your yeah, communication is always going to be there. You're going to get a report every single day of everything going on inside of your shop, how many products that we sourced, how many we sniped, how many we listed, everything. You're going to get a full-fledged breakdown every time. Um, and so, yeah, man, uh, other than that, you know, I, I'm excited to to see where, you know, we're going to keep doing these, but I'm super excited, you know, as months go on, you know, where you're going to be at in three to six months on a shop because, Again, yes, the shop may start off slow, but as you've seen in other ones, even other shops that start off slow, they grow and grow and grow consistently. And this is really what the dropshipping game is. It's a compounding effect. It's it's listing products that are, you know, classified as winners time and time and time again, day and day and day and day and day out. And that will get you results as it compounds and as your catalog compounds. So I'm very excited to see where you're at in in, in three to six months. It's going to be very interesting. Right. And I know a lot of people also wanted to know, yes, you have a completely automated service, but the, I think the easiest place for people to go, if they just want to learn how to do it themselves, in which my opinion, you should understand how it works before you actually go with a full-fledged service, just to make sure that you understand the platform, you understand the risk and everything. Um, in my opinion, Millionaire Map has a great course. I actually got it from your recommendation as well. Um, could you kind of talk about that? Because I know you have them on the channel. Um, kind of what's oh, your yeah. experience with that course? Because I know you're pretty, you know, involved with them and making content and things like that too. So. Oh yeah. So I'll tell you right now. You know, Kyle and Hunter, they're my boys, man. They're they're we we've. I remember reaching out to them like early quarter four of last year. Um, and when we connected, it was just like. It was very seamless. We connected um, and, and and it was just uh, one of those things where I was like, yeah, these guys definitely know their shit. And on top of them knowing what they're talking about and what they're doing, they're great people that we've networked with. And like, we consider them really good, close friends. They're definitely in my close, like a, a circle of friends that's super close that I go to. And we talk about a lot of business opportunity outside of just Facebook. Right. But um, their course is, I always tell them this, it's super undervalued. Like it's super under, like it's super underrated, um, for $20 a month. And let's just first off state 20 bucks a month. You spend $20 at the gas station. You spend $20 at dinner. You spend $20 at the movies. I know you're spending $20 in the movies. If you're going to the movies, you spend half of that on your Netflix premium. If not now they, I don't know if they changed it to 1999. I don't really know, but like, I know you spend 20 bucks at a lot of places, 20 bucks to invest into yourself on a monthly consistent basis is not a problem. It shouldn't be if you're really interested in learning. Um, but so I would say what they're really doing is just kind of shape shaking how courses are done and how learning is done online. Like they're really disrupting. That's a good word. They're really disrupting the space of, of e-commerce courses and how to gain knowledge um, because the subscription model is, is great uh, for them, but it's also great for you because it's so cheap on the upfront. On top of that, they're, they're pulling out multiple courses, right? So you have a Facebook marketplace beginners course, you have an advanced course, then you have a shops beginner course, which teaches you how to get the shop, the two ways that you can get a shop approved. Then they teach you advanced strategies on the, on the shop. Then you have uh, two Q and A's that are live with them every single month. And then you also have a, a call you can book with them once a month as well, or I believe once a week, if you really wanted to, I know they come out with new calls. I'm in the group. So I see it. And they're very, very, very active in that group. Like there's, I get emails all the time from their posts. Like they post every day in there. Like it's, it's very active. They're not just like, it's not like a side thing for them. Like they really take that stuff seriously. Um, they also have a VA course in there that I know is separate from their, uh, uh, you know, monthly cost. But the, just the amount of value you're getting in there is just hands down, bar none, not matched to like no one's matching it, right? Which is why I was so intrigued to partner with them. And like, what really interested me in them is because they're they're disrupting the space very heavily. So if you guys are wanting to learn how to do this yourself definitely go over to millionaire Matt boys, uh, YouTube channel as well. I, I would say, I would say it's very, very great space to just get foundational knowledge and information on how to start. And then once you like got some foundational information, like Trey said, then I would say that you should, you know, invest 20 bucks a month and just, you know, get into their course. It's, it's very helpful. Yeah. I thought the course itself was extremely helpful. Just understanding the basics and the fact that they had multiple courses in their subscription service. Like if you're brand new, just starting out, you have no idea what 
of Facebook is they teach you how to make the shop. They teach you how to get on the marketplace. They teach you how to, you know, get the shipping option unlocked. Like that was huge in itself. But I would say the community that they built around people helping each other get good in the marketplace or on the shops was really impressive to me. Because a lot of Facebook groups that you join, the person that started the group is never in it. They never respond to anything. Um, I was actually in it yesterday and somebody posted every sale that they made so far this month. They were like, hey, here are some winning products. If you want to list them, you can go ahead and try it. And I was just like, that in itself is information that if you put it on your store and it booms, that pays for the $20 by itself. So I yeah. just thought that was absolutely insane. So yeah. I always recommend make sure that you understand at least what the platform is or what they're going to be doing on your store before you invest. Yes, it is a lot of money. Yes, you do have a guarantee. But at least understand what the platform is before you actually yeah. dive down into it. And I'm going to have links to all this in the description as well, specifically for their course and for Limitless Profits. And Andrew, if you do want to jump on a call with them, please, please, please do that because... I know you're doing it for right now, but as you continue to grow, I assume at some point in time, you won't be able to take every single call that comes in. So just yeah. being able to get that access to you is really important, especially if you want to come on and join their agency. But enough about their course. So about your agency specifically, because people who are new to the channel, who are new to this type of video, um, can you kind of explain your agency? Yes, it is completely automated. It is passive income. But what does that look like? Kind of the prices, the splits, and, you know, explaining that a little bit more too. Yeah. So the splits are 50, 50 split. We have anywhere from a 50, 50, a 60, 40 and a 70, 30 package, uh, ranging anywhere from 10 grand to 20 grand, um, as it goes up. So 10 grand for the 50, 50, 15 grand for the 60, 40 and excuse me, 20 grand for the 70, 30. So that's the splits and then the cost. And Every package has an ROI guarantee. So you're never going to lose money doing business with us. You are guaranteed to make your initial investment back at the end of the 12 months, which leads me into the segue of it is a 12 month contract. Uh, we will reach out with you to, you know, at the 11th month to renew. If you want to renew, there is no renewal fee doing business with us. Um, and then lastly, uh, you know, every client that comes on board, we're going to get you a shop, right? We're going to work to get you a shop. Um, and then, and then I would say as well, uh, another thing that, that comes in with us is obviously, you know, having access to the team, being able to, you know, communicate with any and all of us, uh, on a given time, like, you know, Jason and I really don't communicate too much on the weekends. We really like to take the time off. Uh, we're in WhatsApp every day, you know, but at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, um, you have access to all of our team and managers and people that are running your store. And I know you said it a ton of times, but people, when you're watching this video, you have to understand that yes, this is a business. It does take some time to ramp up. You will take time to make sales, or you might have a store that, you know, off jump makes a ton of money starting out. Does it happen all the time? Not really. But as long as you're seeing consistent growth, you're working with a company that has good communication, all that stuff can be figured out as you kind of grow your store, grow with the company, making sure that everything's run right. And that's what I really appreciate. Um, you know, from you all, Andrew, the communication, to be honest, if I hadn't had a sale for three months, but continued to have good communication, at least would have made me happy that I know that work is being done on the store. We just haven't necessarily made results yet, which I'm really excited that we have made some results though. We do have a sale. Right yes. now, but <laughs> super excited. Just want to say thank you so much. Um, with not only getting on the channel, being transparent about the business model, how the business grows, but also putting in the time on the, your team side to give you results on my shop. I really do appreciate that. Yeah, of course, man. Thank you for having me again. As always, I look forward to next month. We can collab again and, and we can get an update on your shop, see how things have grown, see what's going on and, and really just break down the next full month. So I'm super excited, man. Thank you. And then again, everything will be linked in the description down below. If you want to book a call with Andrew, if you want to get on their um, YouTube channel, e-commerce university, where he is posting a ton of different testimonials, breaking down more information about the business model itself, how to source, how to find products. There's a ton of value being posted on that channel. Highly recommend that you subscribe to it, watch some of the videos. And I know I'm getting a few texts. Yes, that is my dog. She snores when she sleeps. She's old. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but yeah, man. Thank you so much for jumping on, my guy. I really appreciate everything you're doing for me. And can't wait to get on another call with you. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Thank you so much for your guys' time, attention, and ears. Appreciate you. And just like that, another one in the books. So as you can see, my store has started pretty slowly, but I think it will ramp up as the months continue, and hopefully we can reach that $10,000 milestone so I can at least break even on my investments. 
Now, if you are somebody that's new to the channel, my name is Trey. I basically make videos on how you can make money online, diversify your income, and, well, financial news that I think is pretty important for you to know. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time I post a video. And I'll see you in the next video.